welcome back to the channel we are here for the lucky episode number 13. last week or last episode however you prefer to look at it we did not play the best game we had a lot of turnovers and we just couldn't get started on offense Granted, we made a lot of plays, we moved the ball down the field, the turnovers really were the turning point of the game. So, brief recap of the recruiting. We've got some players that we're aiming for, and we've got some players that we are in the lead and have a good chance of getting. Some we're reaching for, some we should win. And we will advance to the next week. And week two is a bye. So, <clears throat> maybe I'll advance the weeks at the end of the season. Or not the season, the end of the week. I'll just go ahead and advance to the next week. Just in case we do have a bye week, we can get rid of that. I don't know if I like starting the episode with a bye week. Okay, I'm assuming that's one of the guys we had on our list. And a lot of those recruiting points we're going to get back because we um, scouted. Yes, okay. So, fair enough. Fair enough. So, let's go ahead and look at where we stand with some of these really good athletes. Okay, so... Down a thousand points... Down a thousand points. We will take all of our points back. I think we might have a chance with Arnold. So we'll leave the points with him um, for another week. But with these prospects, I'm going to go ahead and say that ship has sailed. Tony Jacobs, we can leave for now. Actually, screw it. We'll, we'll go after him. We'll go after him. But these other prospects that already have such a jump, that's just, it's not going to happen for us. And it's better to just realize that off rip than to continuously dump valuable points into them. <clears throat> so we will go ahead and take a little bit of a purge. We are out in front in some of these. I think he's important to keep. Um, 91 speed, juke move, man coverage, zone coverage. He could be pursued. 64 tackle, bad hit power. Um, he could be a corner. He could be. So we will bump him back up in the order. And we will put some points into him. We'll put um, 250. We'll offer him a scholarship. We're recording. Recording on our screen. Perfect. Good, good, good. Move along. And we will remove some of these people we just don't stand a chance getting. How's he looking? He's not terrible. We are going to need some defensive end help. So... Let's go here. Let's... Look at some more low locks. Alright, so we've got an athlete four star. Let's add him got another corner with blazing force force 40 4 d speed words are hard 40 speed 40 time 40 time 40 speed i don't know i don't know what we're doing here um and with that we'll just kind of hang out 
We could add the punter. We do need a punter coming up. We could always have the kicker be the punter, but it's a little eh for me. I don't know how I feel about that. Punter will go up to a 79. The cornerback will stay the same, and the athlete, athlete will go up plus four. The 92 throw power. Here we go. Here's a little more realistic athlete that we could get our hands on. Let's bump them up. Um, I think it is important to go after the punter. I mean, he doesn't have great punt power. We'll keep him on the board. We won't put any points into him. We'll keep him on the board and we'll see how things unfold. Well, the athlete, we will go in fully. The corner, we will go in fully. And we will just dump the rest of the points into some of these people that need it. All right. I'm going to be a little bit more aggressive um, trying to get some steals. Whereas last year it was we needed to just get players in just mass amounts because our whole team was weak to put it nicely but week three we are looking to play at virginia tech yeah that's right last last week we played um them at our home so <clears throat> that athlete is starting to get away from us we are taking the lead on some of these guys it's down 715 points on him we are not looking so great I think it may be a little too early to try for the super high athletes so maybe I need to be a little more cautious and I think we need to just push the players that we can get. And we definitely need two defensive tackles. So we will look to try and get someone later on in the season. I was going to try and steal one early, but... I guess that's not going to be the case. We'll go with the black helmets. And we will look to have a better game than the game at South Carolina. Virginia Tech has got a good defense. Now these could be inflated stats because we don't know who they played in week one or in week two. I don't actually believe they played in week one. I think they would have just played in week two. But, nonetheless, we will face off at Lane Stadium. Ball tails, and it's going to be heads. Okay. It looks to be a packed, packed house here. We're going to get the ball first, and we're going to bring the ball out with Stone. We're going to get a couple blocks. Stone's going to get a lane and get to the 26-yard line. All right, so the mistake we made last game was we did not stick to what we are. We kind of got excited. We were like, oh, let's, you know, play a new brand of East Carolina football. Well... We're not quite there yet, as Wise will find a yard on the run. Um, we will look to use the triple option here. Just checking the recording screens. We are doing the right ones. We're going to have the triple option here. We're going to leave the pitch. Harris is going to have some space. Stone is going to get a block. Harris is going to make it to the 40. 
and get pushed out of bounds at the 35. That's a huge gain for Harris. And I know if some of you were concerned once Bobby Wise was promoted to halfback one, that Stone wasn't going to be involved. But I told you he would still be, and he is. And we're going to look to Wise, and he's going to hit the um, and fall. Oh, <laughs> he's going to hit him and fall forward for an eight-yard gain. And the last game of the season at Marshall, we found some success with the triple option. And we are going to look to continue that as Wise is going to be hit in the backfield and be stopped for no gain. I think we will stick with the run again. This time we're going to give it to the old halfback one, Harris. And Harris is going to find a little bit of space and keep falling, and he's going to get a 10-yard gain. We'll go back to the triple option here. Crowd has been quieted down. And Wise is going to get a lot of space. He's going to get in for a Pirates touchdown. The safety, I don't know what he was doing. He just ran away from us. We want to know part of it. And Tyson with the kick and good. Studio update has Florida State number 24 barely hanging on to beat Mid-Tennessee State. If you remember last, last year, our first win came at the hands of Mid-Tennessee State in a close overtime battle. And Tucker is going to make the tackle. There's a flag on the play. Personal foul clipping. That personal foul clipping, that's going to do nicely. We're going to back them up. And they will start on to the 15-yard line. All right, can we make a stop? Can we do it? Nelson, we're gonna back out here and Boone is gonna make the tackle after Gallo makes a eight yard reception. And Nelson's gonna be blocked out of the play. Boone, and that is going to be a big Virginia Tech run as no one, not Wilson, not McMillan, no one can catch him. Thomas, a huge game. Oh, our defense just is going to be the death of me. Hmm. Every team makes it look so easy. And we will just take a knee. We don't need to get ahead of ourselves. We need to keep playing our brand of football. And Wise will go up the middle and find eight yards. That's a good game of eight yards. That makes it second and two. We're going to come with the blitz, and Wise will lose two yards on the play. Right. Let us look to throw the ball. We'll check Stone real quick. See, he's going to play off. Oh Why are you running back to the ball? Let it come to you. Unfortunately, we're put into a position where we have to go for it. Our defense has given us no, just nothing to make them believe that we can make a stop. And East is going to be open over the middle, 16-yard reception. Quiet the crowd. Huge fourth down conversion. East just electric off the line. He's so fast. Oh, 
Oh no. And here we go again with the turnovers. Shooting ourselves in the foot. And maybe I've recorded way too many episodes straight. Maybe that's just the problem. As Nelson will make the stop after Gallo gets an eight yard reception. Gonna run the option here. Boone with the big hit in the backfield. Huge play. Loss of three. We'll go cover two sink here. We'll do press coverage. Watch the man in motion. The screen. And we're gonna drop him in the backfield before he can throw the ball. Fourth and six. This is going to be a long field goal. Field goal attempt so very sketchy. Let's see. And it is up and short. Huge stand by the Pirates. And I thought it was good. And then I saw it fall before it got to the crossbar. He's going to have to respect the tight end, and dang it, I didn't see. Where did he come from? Why was he coming that way? Wise is going to get a two-yard gain. That was a sketchy pitch again. You're holding your breath when I do that. I am too. Don't you worry. I'm doing it with you. We'll look for Stone here. Calhoun is second option. Stone over the middle is going to get the big hit. And he's going to be stopped for an 18-yard gain. Good throw. Good catch. Big conversion. And that'll be the end of the first quarter. With it all tied up at seven. And we are going to come out looking at the triple option again. We're going to get a good block. We're going to pitch. Harris is going to get met after a four yard gain. Thought he might have a little bit more in a one-on-one -on -one situation, but he did not. And Wise is going to be stood up after a two-yard game. Now, we do need to play smart. Unlike before, we have a kicker who can put the ball through the uprights in longer down in distance but wise is going to fall forward and get a seven yard gain we don't have to resort to the kicker just yet we're going to go back to the read option a little less room for air and we're going to attempt the slide and that was a weird slide hopkins three yard gain Go back to the read option here. And Wise is going to get the space, but he's going to have a sluggish start and be a couple inches short. And the crowd getting into it, but not phasing the East Carolina Pirates. We're going to get a good block. Wise is going to fall forward for a four-yard gain. He won't wow you with his speed, but he definitely works hard. 
I don't know if I want to go for the triple option in this situation as Wise will step out and give Harris a chance and Harris will burst up the field and he will get a first down an 11 yard gain the Pirates have already rushed for over 100 yards and we will look to keep doing it and Wise is going to get three yards on the carry Make the right read. And I don't. I even said it out loud. Make the right read. Crap. Oh, that's an easy touchdown. Two plays. Wise is going to make the right cut. He's still only going to get three. Hmm. What do we do? Coach wants the points. I think we go for it. Don't get it. Dang it. Hmm. I mean, in hindsight, yeah, sure, take the points. But Terry is going to slow him up. He will stop for a gain of four. Virginia Tech will take its first timeout of the half. We will commit to the play action. I thought he stopped, stepped out there, but he didn't. Phillips with an 11 yard gain. That'll be a big hit. Hargrove, Gallo with a five-yard reception. Go back out here, and Boone won't be able to bring him down as Gallo will get a eight-yard reception. The tight end is finding all kinds of space. They will set up trips to the left. Can we get some pressure? Oh my goodness, you gotta make that pick! Oh, bless me. make a big drop yeah I love how you're taunting them and everything but you didn't do anything I'm sorry you always see corners and safeties all DBs if they just drop the ball and shushing them and incomplete yeah, you didn't do anything make a play big hit All right. Our defense bails us out. Our defense bails us out. Now we look really silly for not taking the three points. Lacey going to get some space. Oh, my goodness. Lacey with a nine-yard return. 
Oh, important, we gotta turn that off. Hopkins breaks the tackle. I should have pitched it. I was a little nervous. I'm not going to lie. I didn't want anything bad to happen. We will have Lacey open over the middle. We'll call a timeout because Stone isn't in here. We need to get our best player on the field. That is a must. And there he is. We'll just take the run. We'll get hit hard. Probably should have looked to run out of bounds. We are going to have some growing pains with Hopkins. I think that's to be expected. And it'll be second and seven. And Wise will catch it on the halfback angle for a 10 yard gain. We will hurry to the line. We'll look for the slants. kidding me the tip drill Hopkins please are you freaking kidding me Lacey <sighs> Peoples with the pick after it got touched by every defensive back on the freaking field Jeez. Green. Nelson will make the tackle. That's a three yard loss. Second and 13. They're going to check down here. Hargrove will make the tackle. Gallo with no gain on the play. I don't know what they're doing here. I'm not necessarily mad about it. And he's going to catch it out of bounds with no time on the clock. Poor execution by Virginia Tech and East Carolina survives another turnover. And King will bring it out of the end zone, and Summers will hit him, and Tucker will finish the play. 26-yard return. The East Carolina Pirates defense came to play today, and the offense is lost. The offense is lost so badly. Five turnovers last week, two already now. And we're going to get the read option here, and a huge hit by Wilson. Keep Kadem to a one yard loss. Virginia Tech coming out for second and 11, tight end in motion. Uh, Pierce to bring him down. I don't think we'll commit to this blitz. We're gonna back out. It's a screen, a wide receiver screen, and it's gonna be incomplete. I mean, I don't know how much more this East Carolina team can be bailed out. Their offense, when they get the ball, needs to make a big play. That's gonna be a read option. He's gonna be hit in the backfield. Huge play. Terry coming up to make a huge play. Roger, Roger. 
All right, keep everything in front of you. That's going to be huge. McKnight is going to have an interception. And he, oh, he's going to get away. McKnight to the 31. Almost a pick six. Huge freaking play. Huge freaking play. Let's go. And Wise will break it outside for a two-yard gain. And Wise brought down for a two-yard loss. This defense has got us figured out. All right, so if it's not there, we have to throw it away. We have to take the points. And Stone drops the freaking ball. I mean, a huge hit. Don't get me wrong, but please. No, we're not going for it. We're taking the points. Tyson will barely get it through. Holy crap. I mean, we don't have much more in us. The two mile an hour wind might really have given us that kick. Huge kick by the freshman. As Hickman is going to bring him down. It stresses me out. It's stressing me out. The defense is playing good, and the offense can't figure it out. And we're going to cover nobody. Nelson is not going to be able to bring him down, and McKnight makes the play. Not really much we could do there. We did the best we could do given the personnel we have. That's a quarterback draw. Hargrove is going to miss. I think McKnight is going to bring him down. Yeah, I mean, it was kind of a gang effort. But McKnight with the final blow. I mean, I love the college football, but is this band ever going to stop playing? Oh, my goodness. Is that my zone? I don't, I don't know. It might have been. All right, my zone is over to the right. Nelson going to be blocked out of the play. McKnight will miss the tackle. Oh, my goodness. Michael Mal Malkai Tyman Thomas. I can't freaking talk. I'm so irritated. going to have to go to the air. We're going to have to trust our receivers. They've got the run figured out. Stone on the return will be stopped after a 22-yard return. We're going to slide to avoid the hit. That could have been ugly. Last thing we need to do right now is put the ball on the ground. Stone 
has the catch. 13-yard reception. He has three targets. Well, maybe not three targets, but three catches on the night. Big play. Big blocks. Good run by Kevin Hopkins. Stone on the left. Oh my God, block! Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, are you kidding me? Why did he throw that off his back foot? Frustration I have cannot be put into words. This game, if we lose, which that's the way it's trending, Tucker, Hargrove, this will be 100% by our own doing. Still first down. The defense has made stops. The offense has done nothing. Literally nothing. Our defense is not that good. We cannot ask them to make stop after stop after stop and give them nothing in return. As we'll cut up with Wilson. Boom! McMillan will finally be there to break him, bring him down. Nelson with the initial contact. Tight in motion. And boom! Can't force the incompletion. I mean, I knew that was going, but I just wasn't fast enough to get there. And then the Wildcat. And what else do we need? Nelson to finally bring down Thomas. I mean, we just can't stop the run. As soon as they figure that out, we're, we're in trouble here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Morris will finally bring him down after a 12-yard game. Hmm. Tough start to the season. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed with how this is this one is panning out. Oh, my and Wilson will finally bring him down after a nine-yard reception. Wilson's going to get free, but not be able to get there. And Hickman will bring Smith out after a nine-yard reception. <sighs> That's the end of the third. Virginia Tech 14, East Carolina 10. Hmm. 
gonna be a screen. We're gonna get blocked. And that'll be good for a Virginia Tech touchdown. And the extra point is good. Studio update has Iowa State hanging on to a three-point lead going into the fourth quarter against Iowa. And we will go ahead and just take a knee here. Oh, man. This has been, this has been a tough game. Last game was tough. These higher ranked opponents are going to be tough. As Harris will find a seam, and he will get four yards. And Hopkins will find space, and he will slide just shy of the first down. set up in the shotgun we're gonna run it to wise and wise will find enough for the first down and as much as i love running football it is not the most efficient way to come back oh my goodness Hopkins brought down for a gain of one. Just couldn't see that corner coming out of uh, coming back into the picture. And we will look for Lacey, and he throws a dart. Lacey with a 24-yard reception. That's huge. That's what we like to see. Look to East on the whip route for the easy completion, and we will get it. And East is going to be leveled. I told him to juke, and he wasn't feeling it, I guess. We'll go back to the run just to keep him honest. And we did more than that. They came with the run blitz big time. Bobby Wise will... Get us three yards. We have Stone over the middle. We can look to East. As we're going to throw a pick. Jeez. No words, no words. We knew there was going to be growing pains with the Juco quarterback, but I mean, good Lord, absolutely trucked Thomas with a 22 yard gain. I mean, the frustrating thing is <clears throat> our defense who makes no stops ever actually comes out and makes a stop and we just play the worst offense back-to-back -back weeks back-to-back freaking weeks our defense is out here grinding and the offense can give them nothing in return <clears throat> And McKnight is going to come down and miss the tackle. Boone's going to be run over. And Hickman will finally bring him down. Holy jeez. And McKnight will bring him down. Keep King to a one-yard gain. I mean, if 
our defense can progressively get better and win the one-on-one -on -one tackles, we will do good. And I don't know what that was. And yeah, okay, we're just gonna run through the whole freaking team. Jeez, King with another pokey touchdown. Studio update has Michigan State trailing number 16 of them. Playability here. We'll look for Stone over the middle. We're gonna have him. Stone was gonna find a seam. Stone's gonna go to about the 47. 27 yard catch. And we will find Stone again. Just have to trust it. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Kevin Hopkins not doing a bad job if we could just limit the turnovers. Stone is. Oh, I needed that to be a lob ball. Game, I lobbed it. Jeez. not going to be able to stop him. I'm surprised we made a tackle. Second and four, Virginia Tech up by 18. And Nelson will just run through that. Boone will bring him down. I thought he was going to get trucked if you ask me. Absolutely, oh my goodness, how, how do we meet him in the backfield and he just runs through everyone, he just ran through Nelson and McKnight, embarrassing, freaking embarrassing guys. And Thomas will get a five-yard gain. Ten rushes for 196 yards. Dude almost has 20 yards a carry. That's abysmal. Boone will be there to wrap him up. And Thomas will get a no gain on the play. Good on you. Those are the tackles we should be making every play. And Morris will bring him down for a two yard loss. They will set up for the field goal. Are they going to kick it as time expires? Doesn't look like it. They come out in the formation and let the clock hit the double zeros. I guess it would be triple zeros, wouldn't it? Alright, well. <laughs> in not the way you want to start the season. Plain and simple. Really no other way to put it. That was a terrible performance by the offense.
absolutely terrible. And the offense we thought was going to be the most improved, as Oregon will beat Michigan State and Florida will barely beat uh, Ole Miss. It seems with their ranking that they did in fact lose to Appalachian State. Apparently we are not the only one having a rough go of it. As <laughs> it looks like week four is not going to get any freaking easier. It's going to be another annoying week. Oh boy. Well, if you've made it this far and you haven't cut me off due to my rage and frustration, I do appreciate it. We do have both the tackles, the tight end, and the left outside linebacker ready for a visit. So, that is good news. But we will go ahead and just leave all of that for next week. Take a quick sneak peek. And yeah, North Carolina is not going to be any easier. So, if you made it this far, I appreciate it. I'm sorry, I'm just very passionate. I want this team to play good, and it's frustrating when some of the mistakes fall on me as the player because I want this to be a great series. I want it to have a lot of wins, and, you know, it's a road to glory. So, obviously, you don't get to glory by losing week in and week out. Um, but that will be it for the episode. Again, I appreciate it. Leave a like, comment, let me know if you're frustrated or if maybe I'm just overreacting and these teams are just better than us and I'm just a little over emotional because I thought we were going to be better coming in, but we are better and these teams that we're playing are just better than us and we really shouldn't be in the game. So, subscribe if you're new. Go back, watch the series if you're if you're new and you're just finding us at this game. It has been a wild ride of emotions. We've had some great things happen and some not so great things happen. But that'll do it for me. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.